So I wanted to show you this fun card that I made. It says, you're perfect. And I started out with, let me tell you that just a little bit, a white cardstock base that measures eight and a half by five and a half. And then my first two layers, which I've already stuck together, I used a light blue layer that measures um, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And then I used this chocolate brown layer, which measures five and a fourth by four. And that'll go right here. But before I do that, I'm going to show you my next layer. I have some diamonds here. And this comes from the Elegant Edges cartridge. If you turn to page 54 in the manual, you'll see the diamonds here. As you can see, I cut the main part out in the dark blue, and then I cut the diamond pattern out in the light blue. And this was um, cut out at four inches. And I'll go ahead and stick those together, and I'm just going to use actually, no, this one a zig pin real fast to put those together. Once I have those together, um, the paper that I used actually um, comes from this die cuts with the view adhesive mat stack, which means that the back of this I can just peel right off and it will already be sticky. There we go. And I'm just going to center this. There. And then I'm using this ribbon I've used before that's from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to put it straight down the middle. Grab some tape here. Let me double check that. It wiggled. <laughs> This is a very simple layout, but I think it turned out really cute. And then this can actually go into my card as there's nothing else that's going to go behind it. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun to do that. Love the colors on this one. Love that blue. Okay, and then once we have that stuck on, next I did this cute little kitty, and she comes from the Nifty 50s cartridge, and if you turn to page 23, you'll see the kitty right here, and I cut her out at three and a half inches, and I cut, well first I cut her body out in brown, and all these little tiny pieces I was kind of annoyed with, um, so I actually just went ahead and Instead of cutting them out, I just took a pink gel pen and did the ears and the nose and then a white gel pen to do the eyes and then I just stuck some gems, some little green ones on the eyes and some little blue ones on the neck and it just made it so much simpler than trying to cut out these little tiny, tiny pieces. So again, she's cut out at three and a half inches and I also, to make her stand out just a little bit more, I just took some of this um, archival Moonlight White ink and a little sponge pad and I just got a little tiny bit of white on there and then I just went around, whoops, I'm not shifting things too much, went around her body just like this to make her stand out a little bit more. Oh and I also cut out, I'm sorry, cut out this little piece right here, same three and a half inches and I used this absolutely fabulous paper pack. This is from Die Cuts with a View and it's called the Dazzle Pack. And it is very, very, very dazzling. So I use this really pretty blue in here, but there's some gorgeous, gorgeous papers in here. If you haven't seen this one, can't wait to use some more of it. What I love also 
is that it's not like the old glitter papers. I mean, you can rub your hand on here and you're not gonna get any glitter on your hand or ruin your Cricut. So I cut out the little piece right here and that's also gonna go straight in the middle and I'm just gonna put that down with my ATG gun also. Looks like it's about the middle right there. And then my little kitty, I put foam dots on the back. And when you place her, if you center her head, you'll have her pretty much where she needs to go. So I'll put her on. And then next, my sentiment. Now, it's kind of funny, but I've been looking at these for a while, and they're a buck ninety-nine. In fact, I think I got this one at Fred Meyer, but I've seen them at other hobby stores. But it's by Inka Dinka Doo, and they're so inexpensive. But this is where I got the Your Perfect sentiment. And I actually stamped a couple of the kitties to see what they look like. And like, here's a brown one, and that's so cute. In fact, it would look just as cute on this card if I hadn't used the um, cutout. So it's just super cute. So if you get a chance to mess around with this one, it looks like fun. In fact, I might have to do another card with it. But anyhow, so I pulled the Your Perfect out of there and stuck it on my Fisker's little stamp punch here. And I'm going to use a little bit of Timber Brown Stays on Ink. And I actually just cut a little piece of the dark blue paper that's on the diamonds back here. And this piece measures 2 and 7 eighths by 7 eighths. And I'm just going to make a little pendant. But to stamp it, I just went right to my ink pad. Just like this. Making sure I got her good and inked. And centered her. Trying to lean a little bit to the right so that we have room on the other side to do some little notches for our pendant. And I just grabbed some scissors and I kind of guess about where my center is. Snip to mark it. It kind of helps me get my pendant cut a little bit more perfectly. There we go. So there's my little pendant that's going to go on my card. And I'm actually going to grab a little bit more of this stays on ink with a sponge and go ahead and go around and sponge my little pendant here. I love the sponge because it gives these little flex. And so it just, I think it looks cuter. Actually, I want a little bit more down here. There we go. And then after you've done that, We can stick some pop dots on the back of it. I'm going to use these little tiny ones. And then um, on this top corner right here, because it's going to touch my kitty, I'm actually going to just use a glue dot so that everything pops up correctly. If you'd put a pop dot here, it would stand up even further and it wouldn't look right. So we'll just grab a glue dot. Probably will help if we remove the backing. <laughs> okay, and then we can line her up here. Okay, and then our last little step is to put some ribbon through this to tie a little faux bow. I'm going to turn it this way. Just remember when you're using a ribbon that is one-sided to go ahead and flip when you pull so that you're, oops, I didn't flip very good, did I? There we go. So that you only see the pattern side. And then I want to do a quick little tail here. So I'm just going to fold that in half. Set that side. And fold the other side. I don't know why this is always so awkward on camera. Because of course I'm perfect when you're not watching. And there is our other little side. And that is how I made this adorable kitty card, which I think turned out so super, super cute. So 
Let me pull that a little bit closer, because you are perfect. Anyhow, if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a post, and I hope you're enjoying watching. And it would be great if you'd drop by my blog and maybe subscribe to my blog or my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.